as we get ready to bring our special guest in, I'm going to play a couple of his songs and then bring him in. Remember, tonight's program is brought to you by Jamit. The website is there on my link there on the video. Support them. It's a Guyanese thing. You know, they make costume, affordable costume. You know, we have all of these um, carnivals that is coming up. So you can support her um, by purchasing some costumes from her. If you have a band, you know, she caters for that as well. Cole's Boutique, Guyana. It's located in Tower Suite. Uh, specialized in men's apparel and of course the Burbies link up um, at Soka Fet that is going on next Saturday March 7th what's going on DJ Gringo you're dropping in time my brother everybody who just come in welcome to the library I thank you guys so much uh, for joining me um, be sure to download the majestic radio app it's available in your Apple store in your Google Play Store and also your TuneIn Radio. Um, so just get the app support. It's all Guyanese. You know what I mean? Support your thing. All right. So I have my boy Deadly coming in. So I'm just going to play a couple of his songs and then I'm going to bring him in and hear what he's got going on. Hey. 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 This is one of his biggest tunes. Correct. in trouble.
in a paper, girl, they feel hardy Wine kick top, wine firm, nigga, darling The real party, girl, they feel hardy Deadly a bright pressure, till the morning, girl When you wind the pump, and it's thunder Wild baby, girl, thunder Girl, you know you're legal and tender Hey, wine till we surrender When we hold you tonight, it's thunder Yeah, that's my boy, Deadly I have this two big shoes lined up All night, kick top for me, girl Region 10. Yes, absolutely, yes. <laughs> Region 10. Uh -huh. Actually, the mud. The mud. What was your childhood days like in the mud? Um, bare bottle running around, <laughs> the rain, the water. I know, like, that is the truth. I can, I can honestly say that, yes. Mm -hmm. Running around in the mud, when the rain fall on them, cotton used to slow up. Yeah, we used to duck in there like the yelling, but artists would know that I'm not. I know you, yeah. you, but you go to Guyana regular. Do you still do that? Yeah, yeah. Every, every <laughs> three months. Every three months. All right. So Deadly is your stage name. Um, what yeah. does Deadly represent? Um, an individual who has um the musical talent to write and compose um good lyrics in terms of play work, playing and stuff like that. So I'm, I consider myself like a lyrical person. Okay. Yeah, that's the reason for the name Deadly. Mm. And caution. Okay, I was about to say, it's not with the clash thing, right? <laughs> no, it's not, it's not just a clash thing, but it's just... Not with the way to be scared. Yeah, you know, exactly. All right, so what got you into music, Deadly? Um, I actually love for... Uh, Music came from basically my auntie used to play um, under the the matinee, the cinema in Aichuni. We had a um, a little bar, you know, a sports club. We used to call it under the cinema, and she used to play. I used to help see wine cassette <laughs> with a um, pinta <laughs> and set cassette to certain song with pinta and pen and pencil. Yeah, so that used to I used to hear all the music, all all the music, and I used to watch a lot of uh, stage shows. Okay. But one particular stage show got me interested in music was the Bounty Killer and Baby Man Clash. Okay. That that particular show like give me the motivation like yeah I want this I like the energy in this yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's funny when I met you, um, you came to me um, sometime in Guyana. I think um, it was probably 2010, 2000, nine, nine, 2009, nine. and you came as a regular artist. Um, uh, yeah, but you crossed over now to Soko. What um, caused that? Well, it's not really, it's not really a crossover. No. It's something that was hitting me all the time, and I've grown overall knowing music and I don't want to class myself as a genre artist. I want to class myself as an artist who can write very different versions of music because I'm experiencing the demand for different sounds around the world. It's not just reggae and dance that people want to hear. People want to hear good quality music. So I think I have an advantage as a Guyanese artist mm -hmm. to put out different varieties of music. It could be so called so um dancer, reggae, hardcore dancer, mid you know, mid mid range and you know, uh, we could play even calypso. Mm -hmm. Calypso and Shanto music I could mix together. Is learning how to write these different kind of styles that can um help me grow as an artist. So that's the reason why I decided to just say, you know what, I don't wanna name myself as a particular genre artist. I just wanna be an artist who loves music and who have the ability to write different style of music. 
Okay, so you have written, but you do write all of your music. And yes, I do write everything, yeah. And you've written a whole lot of music. you got a whole lot of music out there that we haven't heard. Um, for whatever reason, you know, you don't share them, whatever reason. But <laughs> I know you have a lot of music, a lot of good music um, yeah, that you have been working that. on. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you have been working on for over the years and I, I do appreciate I respect your hustle um, I know I'm one of the persons that you would first send um, your raw put together and say yo Linda Linda I need <laughs> In the studio with it, right? You fix it up, and that song is still playing till today. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. Um, mixing the song on different rhythms and selling it to me, saying, Yo, this song, I think I'm going to big. I appreciate that. But people don't even know if we sing that song. A lot of people don't know. Oh, wow. A and lot of people don't know. They'll be like, You sing that? I say, Yeah. I said, You sound different. I say, Yeah, I know. And that's something. But on that note, do you have a favorite? Um, song you've um, ever released thus far mm. and why? Um, I would say my my latest song, The Mud. Okay. It has it has become my favorite song because of the lyrics inside of it. Oh. The, it more it's resonated with my childhood days in I when I was actually writing that song. I would have it chills writing that song, oh. and I was laughing. That song is like. It's a fun memory for me, so I would say that would be more, you know, one. Mm -hmm. It was. It's one of my favorite. Caribbean girl is second, yeah. Mm -hmm. And haunted, haunted is my third song, yeah. Well, I'm gonna play my favorite of all, and okay. then when that is finished, we're gonna come back and wrap things up with you. But this is my personal favorite. <laughs> Favorite songs from my boy Deadly. Lyrics, man. Big up yourself. Big up my love for you, you know. Them I go with them black tongue, you know. Me take when you tell me she giving you blow, me they so come on, watch how me flow. Yeah. Big up for me, he turns and you hate us, they are Big up for me, he turns and you hate us, they are cool. My personal favorite deadly. I'ma tell you this. this. That's my personal I told you that when you sent me that song, I was like, yo, this is it. I didn't even say, you know, it needed anything. I was like something. Uh-huh. Your favorite song is about to get rebooted by a particular record label who wants it and I gotta go that's why I gotta go to guy and I shoot videos for it. I go to guy and spend two months. I gotta shoot videos for like five songs they want me to present to them. Okay. So that song is gonna be a big song for summer. For big summer. up, big up, big up, big up, man. I'm telling you, it's my favorite. Um you know, but I, it's sometimes when, you know, people will be like, Linda, you got haters? No, I don't have haters. I don't, but I just like the song. I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> yeah, right. You got no haters, <laughs> I don't, I don't. I don't. And listen, all I do is I spread love. Listen, all who want to do what they want to do. Big, they got big up them haters, man. Yeah. They, 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 they hate is love, you know. I mean, 
have realized that in music, their hate is nothing but love and appreciation underneath. Mm. Uh, mm. All right, so let's talk about your latest release, um, The Mud, and also your participation in the 2020 MASH competition um, with the same song. Um, let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, well, I I recorded this song. I got the rhythm from a St. Louis, um, a St. Kitts producer. And he sent me the rhythm and I wrote the song, um, The Mud. Basically, I was writing the song with um, the Guyanese mentality and experience of growing up as a child. Mm -hmm. You know? And I went to the Sokomana competition with it, but um, when the song was being submitted, some individuals who are supposed to be reviewing the song saying that the song is not a soca song and we try to detest that but you know we have to go we have to go with the rules of how they're critiquing what is soca and what is not soca which in, it is a soca song it's a soca rhythm mm -hmm. it's a soca edm rhythm of it just like um the song family it has the same tempo so I don't understand why they didn't accept that into the Sokomana competition for 2020. But it's all right, I'll go again. It's stopping me. That's right. We don't know we got 2021 coming. Yeah. But, but, but you know what? Don't let that stop you. Um, no, keep doing no, you, you know what I mean? It's actually, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It actually gave me insight, you know. Actually, mm -hmm. it really did. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is one of Deadly, Deadly's favorite. I don't know why, but listen, I'm going to be in the mud in a few months, and we're going to be doing bad in the mud. It's a slang. The song is not just a song. It's a slang. It's Guyanese <laughs> slogan like you have of Guyana, like you make it. Yard, Guyana is the mud. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play that one now, and then we're going to come and chop things up and wrap things up right here in the library. <laughs> the mud soon soon touch the mud what's going on facebook what's going on majestic radio family deadly talk to my yes, brother yes 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 um that song there is that song is enough energy I, i'm so excited to shoot the video for that song it's going to be in spain dirty and muddy with kids <laughs> don't call me for it here I, I tell you, I, I don't have a waistline for these kind of things. <laughs> don't worry, man. Don't worry. I get, I get the, I get the carnival and them songs. <laughs> you need chilling oil to buy. Yeah? Cra crab oil, coconut oil. Guy green oil, okay. Oh, super bored. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's in the pipeline for Deadly? Um, right now for 2020, my main focus is um 
dropping a lot of video visual mm -hmm. for my music because my music is actually doing are really doing good but a lot of people don't know who sing the song they don't know who the individual so i think it's time for me to start putting out videos so i invest in my own um equipment them to shoot my own video because a lot of guys are overpricing young artists in the music business so i decided to invest in myself and you know get my team and we long time friend Nigel will be shooting directing my videos with my equipment wow and then that's something yo i know Nigel for you just to let you man see the video right mm -hmm. good so he i call him we link him up he said yeah we done we're gonna do it you know and i have all my equipment then so everything is all independent full out now okay shooting videos everything on studio Alexis and me bengi. <laughs> yeah, go bore the market for the one girl. <laughs> or the back of big markets. <laughs> yeah, so have, we, have we missed anything? How can your fans and the promoters get in contact with you? Well, for bookings, they can get to um, the artist deadly for now because we're trying to get the booking information straight now. Mm -hmm. um you know and also if promoters want to book me for small events or anything like that they can get in contact with you i have no problem with that what, 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 are, we, what are we setting me up so much for stopping by and chilling with me uh, for a little bit um, you know continue bringing out good music um, you know big up the haters them <laughs> every time I just you know yeah just keep pushing man just keep pushing you know what I mean you know you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna put up on some big bowler blocks and thing you know but just jump over them them mother you know what I mean <laughs> You know, that's a major thing. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep rolling, I gotta keep rolling the road. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, just, just keep doing your thing, man. And thank you again um, for stopping yeah, by. Yeah, um, you know, you're always welcome. Um, you yeah, know, whenever yeah, you yeah. release your new music, you're always welcome to stop by. So thank you again. And I want to thank you guys so much uh, for staying with me uh, for the last hour and a half. We have like.